We're here tonight for a Sugar Shack Sessions experience. And now we're here with you. Yeah. Food is rocking. The music is rocking. It's music, like tag right? team <laughs> bubble wrestling. <laughs> what the f*** bubble is bubble wrestling? wrestling? Now we have six yeah, you know, kids and they're all here. It's been a great okay. night. It's That's all the Scott energy. coming together. Oh, probably, did you just pick him up on the side yes, of the road? Exactly. Or something? No, I mean. Exactly. Exactly. Track there for no, let's talk more about your necklace. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just it gives saw me it powers, it. basically. Yeah. 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 Let's just get in the cave. <laughs> Just go yin yang. Dude, you we are in the dead heat of a tour right now. Oh, we, yeah. we lived in a van for four fucking weeks. That's right. Damn. Yeah, we're living. Right. Yeah, we're we were like, where's the bathroom? Yeah. Tiny deck. Tiny deck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys right. are all in here. Yeah. So it's getting like super cool and incestual. But honestly, I mean, I think you should. You know, Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now I'm doing the hand thing. Just packed in and Sugar, 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 What's up, everybody? My name is Bryce. I'm the host of the Sugar Shack Podcast. We're here tonight for a Sugar Shack Sessions experience with Bad Fish. Let's go. Come on. Give it up, everybody. Had an amazing night. Sold out session experience. It's been amazing. Food's been off the charts. We've had drinks at the open bar by Chartreuse Craft Cocktail Lounge. How the drinks been, fellas? You've been enjoying the, the food the and The drinks bevs? are rocking. The food is rocking. The music is rocking, you know? It's yeah, been a great okay. night. <laughs> it was awesome. Hey, congrats. What a great session. You guys that was, that was a crushed lot of fun. it. Yeah. Was... Yeah. I can't wait to get into this. Uh, Pat, thanks so much for being here. Danny, thank, thank you, you so much for just taking time to sit down with me and, and talk. I want to hear about so much. I just want to I want to hear the bad fish story. I want to hear about what led you to hear, what's like the future look like for you guys. So I mean, let's start at the beginning. Like, how did Bad Fish form as a band? I mean, I know a lot of your fans know, but just kind of for people that maybe don't know. Bad Fish formed in 2001. Yeah, that's right. Whoa! You said you said that y'all been together holy, for how holy. many years as a band? That's, that's tw 23, be 23, 23 in April. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, so, that's like a, such a feat of accomplishment, though, to have, you know what I mean? To yeah, have a project was, alive that long. That was our, uh, if, we're, if we're digging all the way back, that was our, our rhythm section. Um, those guys went to college together, and they 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 were computer science majors, and decided you know music works, music is fun, so they got into starting playing, and I actually met them a couple years later, just like two year, two or so years later, and um, I was actually the saxophone player and nice. the, the keyboardist. Which, yeah, you do Whoa! Right now. <laughs> uh, and then then we kind of like you know switched around and played musical chairs and got into the lineup that we're in now, and that was years ago, and. It just kind of steamrolled from there. A couple more gigs a year, a couple more, uh, a couple more markets, and you just start spreading out. And, yeah. And now we're here with you. Yeah. Amazing. Awesome. And you and guys. Like, yeah, I just feel like you guys filled that void. You know, people wanted to hear the music. That, that was the that was the heart of the whole matter. I mean, mm. Sublime was huge. Right. You know, and then there just became this vacuum when Bradley passed. There was mm -hmm. this amazing music that everybody wanted to listen to, and there was no way to hear it. Right. So, um, you know, just being fans of the music, which we still, that's at the heart of it. We're just fans of yeah. Sublime. We love the music and the enthusiasm there every time we pick up the instruments to play. And, you know, and then you see it in all the people that come to listen. Yeah. And it just turns into this party. Just yeah. amazing. And then now community party. and fan base and, yeah. and following. Right? That's grown over years. And, yeah. and, and, and people have met. At our, uh, we've heard people stories of them meeting at our shows. All the time. And then, oh, yeah. that was our first date, and now we're getting, wow. you know, we're we're married. And we say, oh, now we're going to bring our kids. Now we they, have six you know. kids, and they're all here. It's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> it's a family affair. Yeah, that's so cool, guys. I mean, wow, what a what just what a cool. I mean, it's such a sense of accomplishment to just be able to have created a community right around music and and around and around such a, a legacy of music like sublime and stuff like that but you guys now are evolving right and and moving on to As creating do, yeah. yeah creating original music so i'd love to hear about this process like when did this begin for you guys it was really i i think in the beginning the beginning of early bad fish we just wanted to bring that sublime vibe and didn't want to detract from that. That's why it's been so many years. And, and now that our community has grown and we have so many loyal, long-term friends and fans that we figured this would be a fun 
you know, time to bring more music to them, something different, something new, something that we made. So me, well, and, and, me yeah, and Danny have great chemistry. When I when I met you guys, when I met you guys, say maybe yeah. Six, when did you meet? We these met guys. Danny out in the desert somewhere. I was just I out there Arizona, that way. I was yeah. gonna say like you just so, probably did you just pick him up on the side yes, of the road? Exactly. Or something? No, I mean exactly. I had always heard about Badfish. You know, I was in, you know, uh, dozens of reggae and ska bands in Arizona for many years. I mean, I started doing that when I was like fifteen. The ska scene. It pulled me out of like awkward concert band Danny and like made right, right, right. I made, love your hand movements. Rah! Yeah, yeah, it's That's all the ska energy. coming together. Yeah, yeah. And I just uh, I remember always hearing about Bad Fish, and then. Uh, finally, I was with Fayuka, where that's how we found Mario, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fayuka's been here before. Yeah. Yeah, great friends of all of ours. And um, we opened for Badfish for, I think, a few tours. Yeah. yeah we, like, did a lot together. They were like, this motherfucker's crazy. We should bring him with us. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember, though, being astounded at, like, you guys were playing the music so well. And the music meant a lot to me, too. But you guys were also just a really good band, you know, as a band. So... I always, you know, kind of thought that maybe, you know, we could make some music. So it just feels really cool that we finally did it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Dude, where's what, tell me the story about your necklace, Oh, bro. dude, my girlfriend Candy got this for me. <laughs> Shout out. Isn't it cool? Candy. It is pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. It, it's intense. It's like yeah. turquoise and quartz. I know. I thought you were talking about him. It's intense. <laughs> <laughs> it's intense. I have it in a special blue case. <laughs> I'll show you later. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Does she make this ju- kind of jewelry? No, no, no but she picked gift? it out, yeah. Yeah, that's she, cool. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just it gives me powers, it. basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So back to bad fish. I don't know. I just, just got off track there. For no, let's talk more about your necklace. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay, so, you know, when was that that you guys decided to start writing original music honestly pretty recently yeah it was a very recent like we we never just like sat down let's write something which okay so how how did it how did it start to come about yeah well Um, we also play so many shows a year that it's like yeah when do you even have the time we're busy playing and then when you're done playing you go home and you're doing your own life and then it just we have a we have a rehearsal studio that sometimes we camp out at um and me and danny were camped out and yeah. just decided to actually pull out instruments yeah. for once and see what happened. And then I think we have a very complementary chemistry for composing music mm. where just the different strengths. And I, We knew we had like five days of no shows and we were just yeah, like, a, let's just get in the cave. You know? <laughs> right, yeah. And uh, yeah, it was fun. It was just, you know, we played off, we take turns, you know. Yeah. We both know how to sort of engineer and produce on our own because we both make our own music also. Mm-hmm. We kind of call Danny, like, you're like the Lego guy. You're the Lego man. Yeah, I'm Lego like, guy. Okay. So I'll, I'll, like, maybe have a seed of. Like, in what way? Here's a, yeah. here's a couple, here's a couple, you know, melodies and a basic vibe. Uh-huh. And then I might string together a verse and a chorus and say, all right, this is like the, the meat of it. And then. I'll hand off the computer to Danny. He starts cutting and pasting and making right. a song structure. Great structure. And then yeah. I'll come back and we'll track more stuff. <laughs> yeah. Or like if we're halfway with some words, I'll dip out while he's doing that and come up with more lyrics. And, and then I come in and we just start tracking stuff. And I like to one track stuff and Danny likes to 15 track stuff. So <laughs> yeah. I, I frustrate him. <laughs> and then he nitpicks and it frustrates me. And then we are both like happily frustrated. And it works so good that way. Yeah. It's like tag. It's the so perfect good. amount of f- friction to create it's music, like right? It's like tag team <laughs> bubble wrestling. <laughs> what the fuck bubble is bubble wrestling? wrestling? Like foam wrestling. It, like ta- mud wrestling? The tag team was more of the important part. <laughs> Just go yin-yang. It's like that. We yin-yang. Like, yang. Yeah, like I yin make yang. sense and Danny doesn't. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. That's the balance. <laughs> That's the it. chemistry. It right. Is fun, the yeah. sanity to the insanity. The yeah. The, yeah you need, he brings you the need chemical to the chemistry. Yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. Well, and I've, you know, I've been working, uh, you He's know, been with, working on it. He's been, been working, working with bands for years, you mm-hmm. know, sort of like being just a component in the writing process. And it was just cool to do it again with you, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Absolutely. Hell yeah. yeah so, what came out of that? Like, how much did you guys write? What are you working on? Are you working on a, an album? Are you working on an EP? Whoa. Whoa. 
Is it really? Uh, <laughs> is it that fresh? Is it that fresh? No, that it's you don't that, even... It's honestly that fresh. We've only we've only wow. released one song. The um, because played... when I looked at y'all Spotify recently, have you just did you did you clean that up? And are you just posting original stuff from there now? Like for what's the, yeah, that's yeah. What, that's what we're. I just, dig. I dig. That's why I'm. You dig. Yeah. You digs. Yeah, just to kind of like that was like, a, that was a thing too, like where 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 would people land on some of that? Yeah. Yeah. We just figured. Fuck it, send it, it. And go send it. Yeah, Hell exactly. yeah. We also, yeah. We're, there's no, there's actually no, there's no plan. We just kind of. We just had so much fun making songs that we made yeah. a bunch. So I think there's I like, think it's, a, you know, I think there's it's, like a bucket of nine or 10 right now. At okay. the core, at okay. the core, that's, I mean, you want to have fun doing it. Like that's yeah. how, that's how we go about tackling our shows. If, if we're not having fun, like yeah. no one's going to have fun. You got to so, believe in what you're creating. Yeah. You gotta, so we, yeah. we kind of took that live energy ethos that we have and just put it into writing music and and we just want to hit that bar for ourselves and we know if we get there honestly you know? this sugar shack session was like the first time we actually Hell, got to hear yes. it as like a band wow. kind of magical i was felt very emotional because the rest of the guys in the band like cole mario and scott like we just we all finally made it real it was really crazy and yeah and thanks to you guys for that that was a trip because Woo. we yeah, yeah come on let's Seriously. do it up. let's go Amazing. Just like recreating that sample with you, Cole, was just like super magical for me, you know? It's like, That's really nice. And, <laughs> sweet. It's sweet. Yeah, it's because we only have one song out right now, so the other one's like, oh, you guys are interested in hearing some stuff, and we just say, shit, how do we play these? Yeah. So this was our first time performing them in front of anybody, wow. and yesterday we, on our way to a show, ducked into a studio and really hashed it out. Danny was really excited about practice. I he love really practice. Loves practice. <laughs> yes, band, I band. Amazing. All those years in band. Dude, I grew up in orchestra, so yeah, I, yeah, right. I had that fucking, we got to practice. Yep. Well, practice yeah. makes perfect. I also did you theater, cool? too, so I'm just like, let's go, 10-hour yeah. day yeah. rehearsals. I'm ready, yes. <laughs> Danny, it's all making sense, bro. I, I love you, bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, th thanks again for having us. This meant yeah, a lot man. to us. And Absolutely. Well, you guys killed it. And I mean, that's the magic of like what, what Sugar Shack's all about, you know, creating these like authentic moments that really magic's created in this unique way, you know, that you got to, you guys got to hear that for the first time, you know what I mean? And like, I that's, gotta say, that's unrepeatable. You'll never get that another chance at hearing something like that the same way, you know what I mean? In such a pure way. And so it's just a really cool moment to share with you guys as it, you're having it. It felt organic, like you, you said, like organic and pure. It felt that way since we rolled in the gate. Everybody we met, setting up, getting everything ready, getting into the nitty gritty, nailing the songs, um, the kick ass food and drinks. It also, <laughs> honest, you know, it felt really special also, still also, to play the Sublime songs for all of you. Yes. Because yeah. yes. you could tell yes. how much that music means to all of us and how much it almost like created the foundation for all of us that we're doing here. Um, True. This whole wave True. of this music. Yeah, absolutely. So it was just cool to get both of those angles, you know? We were like, enjoying the you know the historic community about that music and then also the honor of playing our own music amongst that yeah, so and that's absolutely. what we you know hope to do with our shows so <clears throat> love it i love to hear it what's uh what's what are you guys up to next like what's the next show where Dude, you we are in the dead heat of a tour right now oh, we, yeah? we lived in a van for four fucking that's weeks that's right you guys yeah. came rolling in yeah <laughs> Good God. Yes, no, the so, boys, look at that. So you're Two in the middle of it right now. Two you're in the middle of Killing tour. It. That's right. I should have remembered this because you like, rolled your suitcases in here and all oh, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're living. Right. Yeah, we're we were like, where's the bathroom? It's yeah. <laughs> 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 not a lot. Eddie and Lisa are like, this way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So there's just more tour, man. Yeah, we're picking yeah. We're, How far tomorrow morning. We're driving to Texas straight through we got yeah. a couple days to get there, and then we'll bounce around Texas and then Oklahoma and then head up through the Midwest and tag a few spots on the way to Chicago and then dig ourselves out of the snow in Michigan. And, <laughs> and then we go to the West know, Coast. Keeps, oh, yeah. yeah. And then, then we hit the West Coast. There's a whole West Coast leg, so yep. we're just going, going, going. Hustling, boys. I know, right? Let's go. And, and honestly, an, another cool thing about this tour is we have so many great support bands. If you guys get a chance True. to look at the lineups, it's yeah. super cool. Let's go. I know Damn Skippy in the house. Yeah. Damn, Damn oh, Skippy. Yeah. What an honor to have. Also, yeah. a.k.a. Skippy, a.k.a. Skip. Skip's his more business professional <laughs> yeah. name, I have been told. <laughs> Tour manager. Tour Damn manager skip. is Skip. Yeah. I'm going to start calling him yeah. Damn. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn. Damn. Damn. Skippy. <laughs> Skippy. He's blushing so hard right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're with Cashed Out right now. We were just with uh, um, Of Good Nature. I know you know all these bands. Yeah. You know That's what's so cool about this scene is there's so much talent to, um, to team up with. And yeah. Badfish has had such a touring legacy uh, that it's just cool. You know, it feels like uh, we're all family. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome, guys. First impressions, I mean, you said it a little bit, but just, I mean, Sugar Shack, like, you know, being here and kind of, I mean, we've been on the road, we've been out and seen you guys in fests and stuff like that, but um, I guess really, like, when was the first time you guys n discovered Sugar Shack? We, we try to ask this of, of bands, you know what I mean? Like, when was that first time that you were like... It's just you crept remember? into the radar yeah. so smoothly. So, yeah. like seeped you know? in, into the scene, right? You guys are all in here, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, you guys, you know, what did I say yesterday? I was like, they're like the tiny desk of reggae. Hey, there True. you go. <laughs> yeah. well, we want to be the next tiny desk for sure. <laughs> no, yeah. really, I mean, that tiny is... De tiny deck. <laughs> tiny, oh, tiny deck. Um, Good one, Justin. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of long form content, which I know is like tough these days. But um, you guys such bring such quality that people obviously love them. I mean, you yeah. guys have awesome coverage, so much talent, so many plays. It's exciting. You guys are doing something special. I oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, anything else you guys want to share with the crew or the fam here, or anything you want to plug? It's, <laughs> it's really great to. I was saying it before, like, <laughs> since we came in the... <laughs> fucking Danny. What? Um, <laughs> that's a big question. I don't know. That's don't a big know. question. What? Uh, <laughs> um, I love you, bro. Yeah, that's I don't know. Great. I mean, you know, we uh, we have more music coming. I guess yeah. that's yeah. probably the that's, most that's important that's thing right. to say. That's right, more music. Uh, you don't, we don't know when, but it's coming. You Very guys, soon. You, well, guys, yeah. you guys may force us to yeah, release it, honestly. I mean, I think you should. <laughs> your release calendar may dictate our release calendar. I think that's a good we idea. Need to, so we need to talk about that later. You know? <laughs> yeah. They got you. They got you. Okay, but, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. You know, Pat Pat has made his own music. Um, he makes cool synthwave music, if you guys are into oh, that. Oh, cool. Yeah, Zenith just, Volt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my little side. Synth yeah. Synth yeah. Synth Zenith uh, Volt. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Danny's all over the... Yeah, I make my own music, Dan E.T. Dan E.T. Dan E.T. I just dropped a couple songs. But you plugged me, so I got to plug you. Dan E.T. <laughs> Danny's music's Cosmic AF. You got to check it out. I believe it's it. It's cool. It's cool. And it's like his, sounds like his shirt looks. <laughs> oh, I yeah. Wait, it. wait, wait. Yo. Through, filter through this necklace. Yeah. And yeah. Shout out, shout out to Supermassive. I know a lot of the bands in this scene get close from them. but this Oh, cool. Yeah, Supermassive. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, uh, a lot of projects I'm working on. Uh, Greaves is a rapper. Uh, Mouse Powell is a rapper. They're, uh, I'm going on tour with them soon, and we're dropping an album. Uh, I think in a couple weeks, and then we're stealing Greaves from that tour. Oh yeah, he's gonna be. On our and then he's gonna be on our West Coast tour. So it's getting like super cool and incestual. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I think you gotta make those. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> You got a question? You got a question out here for the band? Oh, yeah, All right. Questions. What's your favorite sublime song to play? Oh, what's your favorite sublime song to play? It's That's always changing, which That's is true. cool because it's like okay. I continue to fall more in love with different parts of it all. Um, I feel like my favorite song right now, I'm back to jailhouse, dude. I don't know why. That popped on the other day, and I was like, we got to play that more. Just, which, which is sort of a cover, too, but, like, something about their version of that and the groove of it, and, like, it's so reggae, but still has that, like, punk energy, right? And I, I don't ever want this scene to lose that, and I think that's what's so special about Sublime, is they have that, like, punk hood, like, street grimy part that doesn't, it never leaves, and I think we should always, like, Ugh, find that, you know. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, uh, I just, I don't know. I, I just love that song, Jailhouse. Everyone should listen to it tonight. Hell I'm yeah. Going, I'm going with <laughs> the live. <laughs> listen to it tonight. <laughs> I'm going with the live studio. No, the live Stand By Your Van album version Whoa. of All You Need. Because that song is so, the, the energy in that live recording is so manic and it has some insane dynamics to it that you just, that's like a one-of-a-kind thing. And that, that 
right now. And that's, a, that's, that's right. a yeah. live recording. Yeah. That's a live recording. Yeah. The energy so cool. is like, there's like a night's worth of energy, like a crazy night's worth of energy packed into Now I'm doing the hand thing. <laughs> just packed in and <laughs> it's a fair, Like, yeah. It is a fact. No, there's a, there's a shit ton of energy in there. And that's actually what, not that song specifically, but that energy is going back to like our show is what I feel we need to bring yeah. it, bring and push out when we play because you hear sublime songs played everywhere and and that's I think where we get to cut through is like just take this dirt and intensity and I think that's the secret key that everybody loves about that music mm -hmm. and like crank that up so that song I would say is inspiring for me that I that I dig at this moment I could go I could go anyway based on mood Day. Dude, and shout out to, to shout out to Jacob for playing with Sublime coming up. That's gonna be oh yeah, that's yes. gonna be so epic and beautiful. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the show. I saw the first. Yeah, he was me there. Cole, me and Cole. Oh, went. you were there. Oh my god, oh, yeah, wow. it was awesome. At the was at so, the HR, wow. we were, yeah, it was like a little like five hundred cap room, and these guys come out and just just punched it, and I was Sick. like, I we, was like, this is. We were singing along like a couple of nerds. It was good. Because so that's the thing. We're also fans, you know? Yeah, Huge fans. Absolutely. And uh, we took Jacob out a couple times with his band Law, previous band. Yeah, back in the day. He'd and come I, up and sing with us and dude, stuff. And I remember he'd come up and sing Badfish sometimes, and just like my whole body would get chills. And I'm just really excited to see where that goes. Yeah. Really awesome. Shout out to all those guys. Yeah. Just, yeah. Their group. Love to I everybody. Mean, they're all solid. And Rome, too, for holding the torch, too, man. Dudes, thank you so much for coming and just hanging with us and just, yeah, sharing original music with us. I think it's awesome. I can't wait to hear more of it and just right. see how everybody receives it and just the whole new chapter of Bad Fish. And congrats, fellas. Thanks for and, having uh, us. Absolutely. That's yeah, a wrap on this episode of the Sugar Shack Podcast. Make sure you give Bad Fish a follow. Make sure you give Sugar Shack a follow. And we'll see you next time for another episode. Peace, y'all. <laughs> Come on, yo, we gotta heat them up, eat them up. Then I do rinse and repeat, and then we beat them up. Come on, sugar, 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 sugar,